Welcome back into DSI, everyone. What a postseason for Salisbury yes. baseball. Yes. SU rolled into game two of the championship series with a shot at immortality, Trey. Yeah, spring is ring season historically for the Gauls, but never for baseball. That looked to be a change after Tuesday. After a win in game one over St. Thomas, needed to win number game number two to seal the deal. The Tommies actually took the first lead in this game, 1-0 in the third inning. All right, and that's when the Gulls woke up. Fourth inning, they explode right here. Colin McAuliffe with an RBI. Then Cavi Caster, the sophomore with two RBIs. Gulls take a 4-1 to lead into the ninth. Things get dicey in the end, though, but when it was all said and done, Caster making the final out, Ooh. and Salisbury baseball taking home its first national title in program history with that 4-2 to win. What an incredible ride it was, Trey. The team finishing with a 34-4 record. They go perfect in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, the Gauls bringing home the hardware for the first time in program history. Brandon caught up with some special folks after the win, and they have more on this historic moment for Salisbury Athletics. This group right here and everybody out there, you know, they're national champions, and I, I couldn't be more proud of them. It's been a long road to this moment for the Salisbury Seagulls. 21 NCAA regionals, five College World Series appearances that ended in defeat. But this time, the Gulls were a perfect 9-0, soaring past the competition. So what made this team the team? A lot of those guys coming back saying, you know, I don't want to go out like that. I want to get my shot at a national championship. And they came back, and they did exactly what they set out to do. Close-knit group of guys. Um, we got some timely hitting uh, when we needed to. We got some big outs when we needed to. Now, the Gulls did face their share of adversity this season. Earlier this year on this diamond, they lost a historic game in 23 innings to a winless team in Southern Virginia. But that may have been the reset button this team needed. Maybe it gave our guys a little sense of urgency. But that was just one of those games that uh, we didn't play well enough to win. And every game after, uh, we played well enough to win. Following that game, the Gulls went on a tear. First, winning the C2C to -C tournament, outscoring their opponents 57 to seven in four games. Salisbury saw timely hits like this two run game tying home run against Birmingham Southern. The Gulls ultimately won that one in 12, punching their ticket to the College World Series. In the championship series, the pitching stepped up. Jordan Balzan was called upon on two days rest and delivering a stellar performance in game one. And then in game two, a freshman, Benji Thalheimer, with just seven appearances on the mound this season, got the call. And as expected, he delivered. A true team crowned national champions for the first time. It feels like a coronation, honestly. It is a great day for the Seagull baseball program, and we like to say around here, spring is championship season at Salisbury University. I think 2021 especially, you saw how true that is. First of all, Brandon, awesome package. Congratulations to those players. Those guys deserve so much credit for their poise and their never say die attitude. But I want to give a really quick shout out to Coach Troy Bruhan, an Eastern Shore native returning to the shore and making history. Not only was he a good player, a great coach, he's flat out an awesome guy. I've heard nothing but good things about that coaching staff. And honestly, it starts at the top with the assistant coaches and the head coach. Yeah, that's right. And this should be a team that's a favorite to repeat next year. They yeah. lose Justin Meekins, the 385 hitter, the heart and soul of the team, but they are returning six regulars in the lineup who batted 300 or, or higher. Two sophomores to look out for next year. Cavi Caster, six homers, Amazing 21 player. steals, walked more than he struck out this year. And then Jacob Ferentz, the catcher, who had some big hits in the playoffs. He had a 5-10 on base percentage this year. Absolutely incredible offense they had. Plus, Jackson Balzon Amazing. also returns. The top of the rotation next year had a 2.26 ERA. So the goals look like, in, like they are in prime condition to go out and repeat next I year. I totally agree. All right, stay right there. When we come back, thousands facing eviction this summer, and now Delaware lawmakers are taking action as residents await an expiration date. Coach Hoffie Hoffman with Stephen Decatur Lacrosse, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.